How to use a colour checker and colour match in DaVinci Resolve? Let's go! Okay guys, so here we go. Today we're looking at the colour match or colour checker. So as you can see, the clips are already assembled in the timeline, so go across to the colour page. Now the first thing to note is how you actually hold the colour checker. As you can see here, it's too low, so it's not going to register in this example clip here. So ensure that it's right in front of your face, so it's very visible. Also, as you can see, my fingers, that are only in the very corners. Don't uh, have them too far forward because this will add shade to the colour squares and affect the colour match. And also ensure that you don't touch the colours because if you touch the colours, again, this will damage them over time with the oils on your fingers and they're quite expensive, the colour checkers. So those are just a few tips there for how to hold it. Today we're looking at clips 7 and 8, the other ones I've already done. So if we go across to colour match, which is just here, the first thing you need to do is match your colour checker to the drop down list. Now as you can see here, there are a few x rights. This one here that I'm using is an x right, but there are a few options. So the easiest thing to do is just to scroll through them until you see one that matches the colours. So as you can see here, this one actually matches the colours, but the colours are the wrong way. Don't worry if this happens to you, I'll show you how to correct this. Now go to the drop down and select colour chart beneath the image. Now as we said, this is on an angle, so we need to rotate this to 90 degrees to the left. And all you need to do is drag the corners, uh, the corner white circles over the image to ensure that they're going to line up. Now it's important when you're doing this to align the little squares in the center of the squares that you're using to get the color match because if they're not and if you go over the edges, again, this will affect the color match. So just be careful and take your time when aligning up. You can also use the zoom to zoom in to ensure that they are lined up. Once you're happy with the alignment and everything is set, you can go down and select your source gamma and your target gamma and target color spaces. Source gamma is basically what's the format that you shot in the brightness and then target gamma and color space are the outputs. Also the color temperature is if you've used lighting. I'm just using auto and I've clicked match. And as you can see here, that's uh, changed the color. So I'm just going to turn the color chart off here and I want to match this clip to the previous clip. So if I've selected it, I right click on the one I want to match and go shot match to this clip. And as you can see here, it's automatically corrected it. Now if I click on the number here, which turns the uh, effect off, as you can see here, it's sort of taken away a bit of the yellow and increased the brightness slightly. And this is the same with the other examples I've done too. If we look at these examples here, if I turn the change uh, on and off, you can see how it's affected. Now the important thing to note is this gets you in the ballpark, but you still need to do some fine tuning afterwards. And as you see from this clip, uh, there are some cases where I don't think it works. Now this was shot at a time of day where the shadows are quite distinct, and especially if you're shooting in a space with lots of uh, lighting, I think this can really affect it and you don't get quite a good match sometimes. But Again, this is just trial and error. Personally, I don't really use the colour checker, uh, although there are some circumstances where I think that you may need it. For example, if you're working with fashion or some instances where you really need to focus on getting the colours right. So just do what works best for you. So that's the end today. I hope that you found this useful. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you next time.